Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back for part two of the Lightning Assault Tournament. Yes, we got four matches to go through here. Starting us off, we will see Taurosaurus go up against Alpha Ainosaurus, Achillosaurus go up against Eucentrosaurus, Dorakosaurus going up against Chasmosaurus, and the OG Triceratops taking on Pentaceratops. Let's get on with our first matchup, which is the one up here. Right the O then, in the red corner. We got the Taurosaurus, we got the Bull Beast itself. The only lightning dinosaur in the whole anime other than Chomp to have a lightning move. Well, to use one anyway. Right, in the blue corner, we got Alpha Ainosaurus. Alpha Ainosaurus could spring a surprise in this tournament. You know, it has got the attack power. Look at the attack power there. 1750. Absolute insanity. And yes, if I sound a bit ugh this morning, it's because, well, I've only just woken up. <laughs> I thought, first thing to do when I wake up, have breakfast, record. Wow, look how much bigger Taurosaurus is. It's massive. It's one of the biggest lightning dinosaurs. Second only to Triceratops. And it gets the first hit. And yes, for those of you that are new, no, I'm, I'm sure if, you, if, you, if you're new, I'd recommend checking out the first part of this video where I explain how these matchups work. And if you do enjoy tournament content, then leave a like, subscribe, lightning strike that bell for more content. Oh, and another thing, one, fi one final thing, I promise. Subscribe to my YouTube Shorts channel. Yes, I have a Shorts channel now where I post content about shorts. <laughs> nah, just kidding. It's like, it's, it's basically where I put short videos. And pretty much most of my, pretty much all the videos I have on the main channel that are relatively short will be moving over there eventually. So yes, check that out as well. And right, back to the match, back to the match. That's the announcements out of the way. And, well, it's been a dominant display from the Taurosaurus, and he takes a 1 0 lead. Finishing off Ainosaurus with a death grind. Boom! Well, it was quite underwhelming from Ainosaurus. Didn't really get going, except for the Alpha Dice. But there's still plenty of time to turn this around in round 2. Well, round 1 was relatively underwhelming. Let's hope for a bit more of a um, closer clash in round two. But if the Taurosaurus has anything to do with it, we probably won't have a close clash and it'll be a 2 0 win. But do not count the Alpha Ainosaurus out yet. As I said, it does have the attack power to turn this around. Oh, balls are clipped rock. Please don't be. Oh, okay, it's alright, it's a tie. <laughs> Almost messed up there. Which would have made a big difference because, like, Taurosaurus is one of those lightning dinosaurs that actually has a very high crit. And I believe the highest crit out of all the lightning dinosaurs. There's your stranger fact of the day. Ainiosaurus getting the first hit there. Decent damage. Ooh, we got our lightning axe as well. Chipping away at Taurosaurus. Alpha Ainiosaurus. Wow, did loads of damage. And look at this all of a sudden. Can he even the score? Oh, that's a tie. Another tie. Although, one lightning strike will win it for Taurosaurus. And well, he goes for it. Oh, but he doesn't get it. And well, it doesn't matter what this die come out, comes out as. Because the Taurosaurus is going to die anyway. Boosh. And Ainiosaurus, quick as a wink, evens the score. Well... I think we all know what that means. It all comes down to round three. Ooh, a clash in the Colosseum. Fitting since this is a deciding round. Which one of these two lightning dinosaurs will prevail? Will it be Ainiosaurus or will it be Taurosaurus? Hmm, I don't know. This is going to be interesting. I think it depends on which one gets off their crit. I don't think neither of them got off a crit yet. Will that change this round? Ooh, well, Taurosaurus does get the first hit. 
But again, all its power is in the crit, so that decent damage, because Ainiosaurus isn't really a health tank. It's more of a glass cannon. It's got loads of attack, but not much health. Ooh, Taurosaurus get another hit there. That puts him in... Well, I think he was already in killing Ranger Lightning Strike. That one makes it guaranteed. Oh, there's a tie this time. Taurosaurus not getting three hits in a row. Ooh, Ainiosaurus striking back. Can he get off that Lightning Axe? Yeah, that's the difference. Like, Taurosaurus has... Does it have more? No. I, yeah, I think this is the attack type one, so I think it does have slightly more attack. But it's Ainiosaurus striking back. Can he pull this around? Well, this is it. If any of these two get off a crit, they win the match. Ooh, Taurosaurus goes for the crit. Oh, but he doesn't get it. Ooh, this might actually be lethal. If it's a high number. Oh, it's six. Is that lethal? Oh, it is! Taurosaurus taken out by the luck of the roll. Wow, Alpha Dice actually being useful there. I Ainiosaurus coming from behind to win. Quite a surprise result, actually. I thought Taurosaurus was going to win, but nope. On to our next matchup, and that sees Achillosaurus going up against Eucentrosaurus. Right the O then, in the red corner, we got. The Achillosaurus. You know what's interesting about this guy is that when I first watched season two, and this guy's obviously in it, I always thought that he used Thunder Driver instead of Attack Burst. It's probably because when it uses Attack Burst, it has like all lightning in that. So it's like, wait. So it's like, is it a, is it a vanilla move or is it a normal move? Anyway. In the blue corner, we got the Eucentrosaurus. One of three Centrosaurid brothers in this tournament. This one is a yellow one. Like, like a, like a, like a, I don't know, cheese, maybe? Well, it's tiny compared to the Achillosaurus. Right, let's see who wins this matchup. I honestly don't know who's going to win this matchup. I think it's a very, it's an even match. The winner will take on Alpha Ainiosaurus in the next round. Ooh, Achillosaurus gets the crit. Wow, that did loads of damage. And the Counter Blitz. Well, the Counter Blitz being triggered there. I think, yeah, this dude is Warning Type. I'm not entirely sure what Warning Type does. But I think it makes your move stronger depending on something happening. Oh, well, it's a tie, so Counter Blitz will not be used. However, the Eucentrosaurus does get off another hit. Ooh, we got a bit of recovery coming in as well. Eucentrosaurus turning it around. And the tiebreaker as well will suit him in a tie. Oh, is this lethal for Achillosaurus? I don't think it will be. Oh, it is. Never mind. <laughs> and it is Ainiosaurus that takes a 1-0 lead. Achillosaurus got off a crit. You know, it, got, it didn't really get going except for the crit. But there's still time to turn this around in round two. Right, the old then. Round two between these two relatively smallish lightning dinosaurs. Which one will prevail? Will Eucentrosaurus win 2-0? Or will Achillosaurus come from behind? And based on pretty much all the matches so far, the dinosaur that's won round 1 has gone on to lose. <laughs> I mean, it happened to Taurosaurus, it could happen to Eucentrosaurus. Let's not forget that. Oh, we start with a tie. Ooh, Achillosaurus gets the first hit. Getting off attack burst as well. Okay, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's definitely way more damage than its move than that move should be doing. So I would say if Achillosaurus gets off a rock, well, it ain't gonna win because the Eucentrosaurus got counterblitz, but take away counterblitz. 
and you said the source will probably die. Ooh, you sent your sword's not done yet though, getting off that tiebreaker, that could come in handy. And getting off a crept. Although it's a very like pretty much every lightning dinosaur is a very balanced it has very balanced stats. Oh, here comes the tiebreaker. You Centrosaurus pulling it back. Maybe it will win two now. Aguilasaurus can't get a break here. That made no sense. But look at all these ties chipping away at Aquilosaurus's HP. And you Centrosaurus finishing the job. Okay, yeah, definitely tiebreaker won it for him. All those ties, you Centrosaurus, winning the clash of the, um, well, lightning dinosaurs with 1200 strength and booking his place in round two, where he will meet the Alpha Ineosaurus. Now, that could be a very interesting matchup, but that matchup, we'll have to save that matchup for another time because we got two more matches to go through. Coming up next, we are going to see our first goal in this tournament. As is Storacosaurus going up against Chasmosaurus. Right the O then, in the red corner, we got a spiked monster itself, the Storacosaurus. Storacosaurus, one of the tournament favourites here, and kind of has a similar moveset to that of Parasaurolophus from the Gracious Grass tournament. And we all know that Parasaurolophus won that tournament, so can Storacosaurus do the same? It will be tough though, because in the blue corner, we got the Chasmosaurus, the OG Chasmo, of course. Not the Alpha one, the OG one. This Chasmosaurus can prove difficult to defeat, and it is a threat. But we start with a tie, but that will suit Chasmosaurus. It is charge type, and it does have the plasma anchor. So it's going to be very dangerous to get tied. And this is why. Plasma Anchor coming in straight away. You know, because Chasmosaurus gets it off pretty much straight away. But something like Mini King doesn't. But that's how this game is. But it's a promising start from Chasmosaurus. Starachosaurus yet to get going. Ooh. Chasmosaurus getting the next hit. Things not looking good for Storacosaurus at all. Technique boost there, increasing the likelihood of another plasma anchor. Oh, wow. And a critical block. So, yeah, that actually guarantees that Chasmosaurus is going to win. And, well, he killed it anyway. But the critical block would have guaranteed the win. Well... An impressive first round there from Chasmosaurus. Storacosaurus, very poor so far. But there's still time to turn it around in round two. Well, this could be a big round for Storacosaurus here. Didn't get a hit at all last round. It was completely dominated by this Chasmosaurus. So Storacosaurus really needs to get the first hit here just to work their way back in this match. Because this Chasmosaurus is on a roll. Literally. Oh, a good start there. Probably the best possible start since Storacosaurus' moves are all balanced. So I believe this Lightning Spear is actually his most powerful move, not its crept. Just the start Storacosaurus would have wanted, though. Getting off that defense boost as well. Ooh, is a tie, is a tie. No Plasma Anchor, though. Another tie. Oh, it's a plasma anchor. It's another plasma anchor. Chasmosaurus landing that hit. Anchoring in the Storacosaurus and tossing him overhead. And uh, I, I forget what that does. I think it lowers its defense. Ooh. But... Has Storacosaurus done enough to even the score? Oh, he hasn't! Just short. Just short there. But the Chasmosaurus on the brink of dying. 
And yep, there it goes. Sturatosaurus pulling it back. Even in the score. I'm getting a bit of revenge there. But you all know what this means. Say it with me in the comment section. It all comes down to this next round. Right then, round three. Ooh, we're on the beach. Just like where Storacosaurus was in the anime. On a beach in Hawaii. We can pretend this is Hawaii. Does that give Storacosaurus some terrain advantage? We're going to find out. Oh, oh, hang on. Random number generators being an arse again. Hate when that happens. Okay, we're back in business. And we start with a tie. Well, we all know ties favour the Chasmosaurus. It will take a tie all day long. Ooh, but he's going to get off a critical block. This could be a big moment in the match here, as that will guarantee Chasmosaurus at least a tie. And yes, for those of you that do not know, I'll explain real quick. When a dinosaur, like the Stratosaurus, loses one of its moves, the other dinosaur will go for the move it can't lose to. So in this case, Chasmosaurus will be going for paper. And Stratosaurus' move will be randomly generated. So, in that case, we have a tie. I mean, it is a rule that I might change, but... No, I feel like move removal should give you some form of advantage. And if, if the move is randomly generated, then you get no advantage. Well, Stratosaurus striking back, coming back with a light recovery and a defense boost as well. That will help it. Well, unless Plasma Anchor happens. But it will help it. And it helps Stratosaurus retake the lead. Ooh, is a tie. No Plasma Anchor, though. Is Chasmosaurus wilting? I think he's wilting. And there it is. Stratosaurus, unconvincing, but coming from behind to edge past the Chasmosaurus and book his place in the second round. Well, it, did, it took him a while to get going. You know, it didn't, well, it didn't get a hit at all in the first round. But the Stratosaurus did what he needed to do to get the job done. And it was unconvincing by a long way. And Stratosaurus will perform better in this tournament. But sometimes you've got to win ugly. And that's what Stratosaurus did there. It won ugly. Right. On to our final match of this session, and that will see the OG Triceratops taking a crack at Pentaceratops. Oh, and it's a blast from the past in the red corner. We have the OG itself, the Triceratops. Not Chomp, not Maximus, not the orange Triceratops, the OG Triceratops. Will he be MVP in this tournament? Well, it'll be a tough ask, because in the blue corner, we got the orange five-horned beast itself, the Pentaceratops. Pentaceratops, one of the tournament favourites, one of the fan favourites. And I'm pretty much expecting it to win. Well, win this match anyway. I mean, it's, as I said, it's one of the favourites to win the whole tournament. But it's got to get past Triceratops first. It's like a popularity contest. You've got Triceratops and Pentaceratops. Which one do you want to see win? Pop a comment down below. Ooh, oh, it's Pentaceratops. Get it off the crit. I believe it is lethal type as well, so that crit will do more damage. Oh, that's a tie. Neither of our combatants have Plasma Anchor, but the Gatlin Spark has been triggered. Ooh, but the Triceratops striking back with a Lillian Q at the Kern. Oh, uh, that's a pathetic amount of damage. I forget what this dude has. Oh yeah, he's got Thunder Driver. Ooh, the big moves have been triggered, but which one will get their big move off? Well, it was a good start from Pentaceratops, but Triceratops has worked his way into the lead. But he's open, he's open. But the Pentaceratops doesn't take the invitation. Instead, the Triceratops gets yet another hit. And can Triceratops secure this first round win? Ooh, is a tie. Can Pentaceratops snatch this? Ooh, he could snatch over the Gatlin Spark. Oh, but he doesn't go for it. 
Instead, it is the OG Triceratops taking the first round win. Well, taking a 1-0 lead. Well, the, again, you know, this could be another one of those unconvincing performances from one of the tournament favourites. The Stracosaurus was unconvincing against Chasmosaurus, and Pentaceratops has been unconvincing so far. So let's find out how this matchup will end in round two. Right, round two between these two fan favourites. Can the Triceratops get that 2 0 win, or will Pentaceratops fight back? Oh, I, I, I honestly don't know. I think Pentaceratops is, can even this. I think Pentaceratops is going to even things up here. But the Triceratops look quite impressive so far. Neither one of our combatants got off their big crits, though. Will that change? Ooh, Triceratops getting the first hit. Triceratops continuing his good form there, getting that Thunder Driver triggered as well. And if he gets this Thunder Driver off, it might be game over for Penta. Okay, no, he doesn't get it off, it's a tie. Oh, another tie. Man, neither of these dinosaurs can get off their big crits. But it's the Triceratops in the driving seat on the brink of knocking out Pentaceratops. This is this will be quite a surprise result. Pentaceratops has not got going at all. It's been a really poor performance from the Orange Beast. And yeah, that is it. Wow. Wow. Pre press F in the um, in the comment section for Pentaceratops because it sucked. <laughs> wow. The OG Triceratops proving his might, defeating the Pentaceratops and taking a 2 0 win. And Pentaceratops, well, very underwhelming, very underwhelming. And it is the OG Triceratops who it books his place in the next round to face Stracosaurus. Well, that was, inter that was a great way to end, wasn't it? Right, let's have a look at the table and end the session. Well, round two's got some enticing matchups there. Alpha Ainiosaurus going up against Eucentrosaurus and Storacosaurus taking on the OG Triceratops. And honestly, out of this bracket, I feel like Storacosaurus, with Pentaceratops gone and Taurosaurus gone, I feel like Storacosaurus is a clear favourite in this bracket. I would be surprised if it doesn't get all the way here. And again, with Pentaceratops out already, Storacosaurus has to be one of the front runners to win this tournament. I know I know, he was unconvincing against the Chasmosaurus, but sometimes you've got to win ugly to win handsomely. But anyway, enough about that. We're going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, so you don't miss out on any future tournament videos. And stay tuned, where we conclude round one with these four lovely matches. And until then... This is Stranger Gamer, signing out.